Sup guys, it's Jacob here. Thank you, first and foremost, for clicking on my video. Secondly, this video is proudly brought to you by Manscaped. Now Manscaped do have a complete range of products on their website, but their most recent product, and the one that I'm using at the moment, is this, the Lawn Mower 4.0. So not only is the packaging impressive, but apparently, it's a whole new balls game. And here it is now, the latest addition to Manscaped's incredible selection of male grooming products. I've been using the products for a good couple of weeks now. I love them. There's no way I'd be making this video if I didn't. Manscaped use ceramic blades with skin safe technology, which means there's absolutely no risk of nicks or cuts. In fact, you could probably do it blindfolded. Not only that, but you can do it in the shower also. It's completely 100% waterproof and it's even got an LED light. So power or no power, you can still get the job done. For those wondering, is it a tool just for the downstairs area? No, no it's not. It's actually good for your entire body, including your face. And for anyone wondering, that's the length. But if that's too short for you, there are four different trimmer guard options, which means four different lengths, which means if you really wanted to, you could probably even draw a picture. It looks good, it's waterproof, it's rechargeable with a 90 minute charge, and it's only one of the incredible selection of products on the manscaped.com website. So head over there, check out www.manscaped.com, use code JACOBD20, that's J-A-C-B-D-2-0, for 20% off your entire order. Join myself, your other favourite YouTubers, and over 2 million men worldwide happily using these products. Once again, head down into the description box below, click the link, check out the entire range of products, use my discount code, happy days. Enjoy the video guys, and peace out. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to another episode of Rugby Player Reacts. I am your host, the rugby player in the room, uh, Jacob McDonald, and I want to welcome you to the video. Today, I present to you number 41 on the list of the top 100 NFL players for the entire year of 2021 as voted by other players in the league. And that's why I love this series. It's interesting for many reasons. But one of the most interesting things to me is to hear other players possibly in that same position, if not in the same team, if not, you know, their arch enemies on the field. Any opinions from any players about other players, to me, is some of the most interesting NFL insight you will ever hear. So with that in mind, I'm going to roll the intro and I'll see you back here shortly. And here he is now, Jaray Alexander, Jaray, Jairi, J Alexander. I'm actually not too sure about how to pronounce his name, but uh, I'm assuming all of that and more will be revealed right now. Oh yeah, you see what time it is? Don't even think about turning the chair. We are Jaray time. Oh, baby. Jairi, Jaray, Jairi. Jairi, Jairi Alexander, that's my final pick. Jair is a cat. <laughs> what the fuck? I got it completely wrong. Jair. Well, all right then. Jair. Jair is a character, man. We love him to death, man. He's the guy that keep the energy. For sure, the number one corner in the NFL. In the NFL. And I tell you what, one of my favorite voices in the NFL and favorite pair of glasses in the NFL is Zadarius Smith. What a pleasure. Minnesota. I don't know if I'm supposed to tell this or not, but he wasn't supposed to go on that play. <laughs> he was actually supposed to be in coverage, but you know, um, those are situations as a great corner man to know uh, that he was unblocked and to know that he can come off the edge like that, man. Wouldn't he be tracking this guy right here? Jair Alexander on the blitz. Hey, whatever helps the team, man. Whatever helps us win. <laughs> I feel like with with Jai. <laughs> in my opinion, he got away with one there. Yeah, I feel like he's always in in really good position. And it's broken up, intercepted. Oh, what a play made by Jair Alexander. Who is that, Jai? Hey, Jai. Can't start returning, boy. <laughs> now, who's that? That's the running back, isn't it? What is the running back for the Packers' name? Carson? Collins? I actually can't recall. That boy dirty. He'll play press sometimes, you know, he'll play off. 
you know, just be patient like, with the receiver that he's going against. So he's more of a guy that's what, 5'11", that's playing like he's 6'6". Six 6'6". Foot six. Six foot six. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if this guy wasn't as nice. Imagine if Z Smith was, was faking us this entire time with a smile and his demeanor. But deep down, tell you what, guys, as far as the smile is concerned in the NFL, you're not going to beat Z Smith. Not making his size be a factor of, you know, you winning against him. All right, so 5'11". So 5'11 for a cornerback. From what I've heard so far, people are saying that's undersized. But being an NFL quarterback, if you lack in one department, you're most likely going to make it up in another. And with that in mind, let's look up his stats. All right, so that makes a little more sense. He's listed as 5'10". And as a cornerback on the field, you know, slight in stature and under 6 foot, you're going to seem undersized. But then the play begins and you see exactly what they're made of and what he's made of is some extremely fast twitch muscle fibers he's got a 40 yard dash in under 4.4 seconds he's got a 20 yard shuttle in under four seconds he's got a he's got a three cone drill of 6.71 seconds a vertical jump of 35 inches a broad jump of 10 foot 7 and a bench press effort of 14 reps. The Green Bay Packers selected Alexander in the first round of the 2018 NFL Draft, the 18th pick. But to get that pick, the Packers traded their first, third, and sixth round picks to the Seattle Seahawks in exchange for their first and seventh round picks in order to draft Alexander 18th overall. Now, they did have a 27th overall pick, which is bound to pick you up a decent rookie. But they wanted to make sure they got Alexander. They did get Alexander with the 18th pick. And they signed him to a four-year, $12.05 million contract, which he is currently playing out. If we're talking about 2020, he's got 15 games played, 51 combined tackles, 39 of which were solo, 12 assisted tackles, and one sack, which we saw on the video against the Vikings. 13 passes deflected, so he's into absolutely everything. One interception and one forced fumble. Classic cornerback. Alexander reaching over with his left hand. He's really confident in his ability. You know, he's confident in his speed. Well, I will say that anyone running under a 4.4 second flat 40 yard dash has got to be pretty damn confident with their speed. And when you've got a three cone drill of 6.7 and a 20 yard shuttle of under four seconds. You can move, put it that way. He has all the tools and you know, he has that swag and he has that confidence when he's on the field that he's the best player out there. I told y'all man, I'm the best man. I don't know what else to say. His swagger, his personality. I told y'all I'm the best man. Outside, right? I told y'all I'm number one. Them six I'm going my way. I'm going my way. So I'm, going my way. I'm with the aliens, baby. Quarterbacks would be wise to heed Jair's advice. In 2020, opposing number one receivers combined for just 14 receptions and 143 yards against Alexander. What? So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of 17 games. He did not give up one yard, one catch, one absolutely anything. And in the remaining 10 games, he gave up 147 total receiving yards. The most of which was in game number one against Adam Thielen. The only other significant game was Allen Robinson with three receptions for 28 yards in week number 12. But apart from that, he is a shut down corner. He did a great job in that championship game too. Marking Justin Jefferson, one reception for 12 yards. The guy got 1,400 receiving yards last year. I think he came out of there with two picks. Intercepted, Jair Alexander. And it is intercepted again. Jair Alexander. Jaya Alexander. So we, we just saw two interceptions there, but they must have been in the postseason because he's only got three total. In those situations, man, for him to step up in big time games like that, man, just to really show what type of player he really is. And that, my friends, brings us once again to the end of another video in the next one we're looking at a running back we are in the top 40 i'm gonna take a break for anyone following along at home 
it is officially the 2nd of September. It is 11.45 in the morning and it's lunchtime. So I will see you in the next video guys. Thank you so much for the support. It means the world and peace out.